Hello, and welcome to our AP review of topic 7.2, Direction of Reversible Reactions. So remember, some reactions um, are capable of going in both directions. In other words, from reactants to products, or the products can reverse and go in the direction of the reactants. And so we're going to use a generic reaction here. A plus B uh, produces C plus D, but it is at equilibrium, or it is an equilibrium reaction, meaning that C plus D can also produce A plus B. Now, when we talk about equilibrium, we can talk about reactions going one direction or the other, and there's a lot of different ways that we can say that. We can say the reactants become products. We can say the products become reactants. We can say the reaction shifts to the right, meaning that the reactants are becoming products. Or we could say it shifts to the left, meaning that the products become reactants. So um, there's a lot of different ways to talk about equilibrium and the direction the reaction is going at, at any moment. Um, in this case, we're going to kind of focus in on what rate means. So if you remember, rate is all about how fast uh, reactants become products or products become reactants. And in equilibrium, we talk about two different rates. We talk about the rate of the forward reaction. In other words, how quickly are A and B becoming products, C and D. But we can also talk about the rate of the reverse reaction. And so how quickly are C and D reacting with one another to become A and B. And both of these things can happen at the exact same time. And the rates change as the reaction goes on. If you remember from kinetics, um, as A and B decrease in concentration, the rate of the reaction uh, in the forward direction is going to be less and less. Uh, as C and D become more concentrated, then the rate of the reaction reverse could, could increase. So we can have changes in the rate as the reaction takes place. So for this very small topic on the AP test, um, we're going to just look at which rate is moving uh, is greater. So if the rate of the forward reaction, which I'm going to call rate F, is greater than the rate of the reverse reaction, then the reaction is going to shift, uh, go towards the products. So the reaction moves towards products because A and B are reacting with each other faster than C and D are reacting with each other. So the reaction is going to be moving forward towards the products. If the rate of the forward reaction is less than the rate of the reverse reaction, then the reaction moves towards the reactants. So uh, looking at the rate, we can decide, determine which direction the reaction is going. So if these two things are true, what's going to be true if the rate of the forward reaction equals the rate of the re reverse reaction? In other words, A and B are reacting with each other at the same rate that C and D are reacting with each other. Well, if this is the case, then the reaction is at equilibrium. In other words, the reaction is moving both forward and backward at the exact same rate, and so we don't have any change in concentration at this point. So that is topic 7.2. There's not a whole lot to it. Good luck as you study, and uh, ask me any questions if you have any. Bye-bye.